Army nurses. They come from every walk of life, from every state in the Union. Some are just beginning their work of healing. Others have devoted years of skillful, compassionate care to sick and wounded alike. There is a common bond which draws these men and women together. Whether in Europe or Southeast Asia, Hawaii or Africa, there is the great work of helping the helpless and the biding pride in being members of the Corps. From the great centers of military medicine here at home, to the Army medical installations overseas, from any area in the world, wherever the need may arise, comes their story. The story of the United States Army nurse. The men and women who become Army nurses may be student nurses or graduate professional nurses who have had hospital experience. To each, the Army Nurse Corps represents the epitome of the nursing profession. Here, a career in the Corps can span a lifetime of rewarding service and adventure in foreign lands. Where does it all begin? Major Shear? Yes. I'm Mary Fran Stark. Well, how do you do? Sergeant Boone called that you'd be coming in. Won't you have a seat? Thank you. It begins when the applicant consults an Army Nurse Corps counselor who provides each nursing candidate with specific information on programs which are tailored to the qualifications of the individual. It's a good possibility. We would have to call Washington and let them know when you would be coming on active duty, and if they have an opening at that time, you're guaranteed. Uh, is there any particular clinical specialty that you're interested in? Yes, there is. I've been working in pediatrics, and I just, I just love working with children. Well, you've certainly come to the right place for that. You know, we do take care of dependents as well as active duty military. And our military community is booming with children. So before we go any further, do you think I could get some information from you? Fine. Sergeant Boone did give me your name and address, but I'd like to find out a little bit more about your educational and experience background. You are a graduate of a local school, are you not? Yes, Incarnate Word College. Oh, Incarnate Word. I know Sister very well. That's fully accredited by the National League for Nursing. It sure is. And you are a citizen of the United States? Yes. Single? Yes, I am. Temporarily? No, for a long time. <laughs> oh, really? You are currently licensed as an RN, right? Right. Here in Texas? No, in New Mexico, my home state. Oh. Oh, well, that's fine. Aside from qualified registered nurses who wish to join the military medical team, Applicants also come from civilian hospital schools of nursing or from universities where they are enrolled in a program leading to a baccalaureate degree in nursing. Depending upon the type of program in which the student is enrolled, the Army provides financial assistance during one or two years of their education. It is with pride that student nurses in every state of the Union wear this small pin a symbol of their participation in one of the Army's programs. It is a passport to, and an assurance of, an exciting tour of duty in the ANC. In exchange for the Army's financial assistance, and after graduation and completion of their state board examinations, those students who have participated in such programs serve two or three years on active duty as commissioned officers in the United States Army Nurse Corps. In addition to adapting to a new body image, the adolescent has a second developmental task that's very important. It's that of emancipation from his parents. And when he declares his independence of his parents, he makes the Emancipation Proclamation of 1861 look like small stuff indeed. A class in child psychology. These are students at the Walter Reed Army Institute of Nursing which is a baccalaureate program with the University of Maryland. All of these students' educational expenses, plus a monthly salary, are financed by the Army. Freedom of adulthood. It looks very attractive, and yet he's afraid of it. And there are many advantages, then, of being a child, because he might fail. The parent, on the other hand, he sees that his adolescent is looking very adult and would like him to behave like the adult that he appears to be, 
Their instructors are Army nurses, all highly qualified full-time faculty members of the University of Maryland. So every activity then of daily life. Fort Sam Houston in San Antonio, Texas is the home of the Army Medical Field Service School. For each new Army nurse, this is the starting point of service to the nation and to mankind. Newly commissioned nurses undergo five weeks of basic training to orient them to military customs and traditions and to prepare them for their role as part of the worldwide U.S. Army Medical Department team. Welcome to the United States Army Medical Field Service School. For the next few weeks while you are here at Fort Sam Houston, Texas, you will be learning about the Army and its organization and about the Army Medical Department and your role as members of the Army Medical Team. As newly commissioned officers in the Army Nurse Corps, you should realize that you are now members of the oldest corps of uniformed women in the military service. While you are here, you will be learning about the uniform, how to wear the uniform, and how to act the military courtesies and customs. We'll see how they have lettered from left to right using all letters with the exception of India and Oscar. It is important for Army nurses to understand the mission and organization of the Army Medical Department, as well as having a knowledge of map reading, supply channels, and the methods and concepts of modern warfare. Across this way until we exhaust it and then come into our uniform series with uh, Bravo, Charlie, Delta on around. The entire world is subdivided this way into... There is much to learn about field equipment and how nurses adapt their knowledge of nursing to the care of patients in the Army's mobile field hospitals. ...that you've been involved with here at Camp Bullock. Now, I hope we can bring out some very constructive questions and have an interesting question and answer period. May I have some questions, please? Are all the operating rooms in separate suites the way they are out here? They're usually separated with the sheeting material that you saw. But depending upon the supply or depending upon the physical setup of this given unit, they may or may not be. So we must be very, very flexible in our setup. May we now have another question? Yes. Are all the patients in the operating room moved in and out as fast as they were this morning? Depending upon the extent of injury and the length of time needed for the operative procedure. Now then, simulating the exercise this morning, even for all members of the medical team, a thorough knowledge of the chain of evacuation to remove the wounded from combat areas is most important. Aside from the formal orientation course here at the Army's Medical Field Service School, new Army officers form new friendships and begin to develop a feeling of belonging. All share the experience of being part of one of the most comprehensive nursing services in the world. Oh, by the way, we wanted to ask you a question. At the same time, these new Army officers learn that a modern-day Army post is a complete community within itself. The Post Exchange, a general merchandise facility, makes shopping interesting and convenient. Wherever they may be stationed, Army personnel can see first-run feature films at post motion picture theaters, and at the same time, enjoy the companionship of others. Recreational facilities provide the nurses with active pastimes during their off-duty hours. Many enjoy the excitement of bowling. Where outdoor recreation is concerned, post facilities often include large swimming pools, where a refreshing plunge can be enjoyed by all. Golf course.
courses on large army posts afford fine facilities comparable to civilian courses. Up-to-date libraries provide all kinds of reading matter and research material. Every man and woman in service has the opportunity to worship regardless of religious persuasion. Social life in the Army is both exciting and colorful. The officers of the Army Nurse Corps are very much a part of that life. At the officers' clubs and at parties in private homes, the Army Nurse forms new friendships, often lasting through a lifetime. Wow, that's not too far from your home, down in Florida, Panama City. That's right, just 190 miles away. That'll be real fine. You'll be able to get home, see the old folks some. You better believe. <laughs> I surely will. <laughs> see you at sight. In this ever-changing atmosphere of good times and joyous human relationships, the Army nurse finds relaxation and respite from her daily service to mankind. We certainly hope so. In fact, we plan to live in the nurse's quarters, which is adjacent to the hospital. It's just beautiful, just out of this world. Well, yeah. how long do you think you're going to be at Ben? About six months. Six months? Mm -hmm. What you thinking about then? Europe, maybe? Europe, right. <laughs> wow. Five weeks of orientation program go swiftly by for the new Army Nurse Corps officers. Then it's goodbye to Fort Sam Houston and on to the first duty assignment as a member of the Army Medical Department team. As they leave, they will be headed for all parts of the globe on their first assignment. Though the majority are first assigned to a hospital within the U.S., others come directly into the Army with the guarantee of a specific assignment. Sometimes this guarantee includes a stateside hospital, but such assignments are also available in Europe, Alaska, Hawaii, Korea, and other parts of the world. Letterman General Hospital in San Francisco, California is an example of the type of hospitals within the Army's modern hospital system, a system which stretches around the world. Perhaps the first assignment will be to join the staff at Fitzsimmons General Hospital, high above sea level in picturesque Denver, Colorado. If overseas, it may be a tour of duty at the Shape Hospital in Casto, Belgium. Or perhaps it will be the hospital at one of the world's most famous medical centers, the Army's Walter Reed General Hospital in Washington, D.C. In addition to thousands of servicemen and their families, this great hospital serves many distinguished leaders of our nation. So it begins, the great work. From major medical centers to smaller post hospitals, the Army nurses perform their daily duties in many ways and many places. Now just relax and let the machine help you breathe. That's a good girl. That's a very good sweetie. Yeah. That's a good sweet. Hmm? You're still clean. Mrs. Rogers? Yes, ma'am. Good morning. We're going to be turning you over on your back here. And what you'll be doing every two hours, continuously around the clock, now, we're going to have you very secure in the frame, and it'll take two people to turn you. There's no chance of you falling out. Are you ready to go in orbit with us? Blast off. All right. Now, that wasn't too bad, was it? No, ma'am. At least we didn't lose you. Now, you'll be turned every two hours. The purpose of this is 
especially for your circulation, because you're not going to be up walking around until we get you out of here, which we hope is soon. Now, you can move your hands. You can turn your head from side to side. You can talk. You can eat. Anything you want to do, either on your stomach or on your back, just let us know and we'll help you. Mm, thank you. That's very pressing. I understand we're going to do a cholangiogram on this patient. Uh, yes, that's what the 212 says. We have a 1080X table out there. Do you know if X-ray has been notified? Sergeant Lee said he will come over, uh, take the X-rays himself personally today. If you're ready, Colonel Losnick, uh, we can have uh, Sergeant Douglas bring the patient in for us. Yes, the patient may be brought in any time. The most important thing to remember about this whole procedure, Sergeant, is that when you're wrapping, you remember to use the figure eight rather than a circular motion, and you leave the knee open so that he has movement there. How does it feel, Jim? It feels good. Good. Do you have any questions, Sergeant? Do you normally use the six-inch bandage? It depends on what we're wrapping, if we're wrapping an arm or a leg, but for a leg, yes, a six inch. Well, Jim, now I think it's time that you throw away that wheelchair and start using the crutches. Boy, I can't wait. Now, Mr. Santiago, it's important that you relax, just like I gave you instructions a little bit ago. Understand? I think so. I'll try. I'll help you. Is there a contraction starting? Yes, there is one. Okay, now, just breathe easy. Open your mouth. Breathe slowly. Slowly. That's the girl. It's going away now, isn't it? Yes. Is it completely gone? No, not complete. Oh, it'll be gone in a minute. It's gone now, isn't it? Yes. Okay. I'll check the baby to see how the baby is. The baby's fine. Did you want a boy or a girl? A boy. Well, Dr. Venturi asked me to come over and see how the muscle exercises were doing. Well, they seem to be doing wonders. Well, which ones did he give you to do? Uh, the main exercise was to move a bright colored rattle in front of his eyes and see if he would follow it. Okay, let's see how he does. Kevin, look up Kevin, there. Kevin, you're not going to look at me, are you? Hey, look, look, Kevin. Well, he seems to be doing a lot better. I'm looking for my weigh? daughter, Mrs. Ethel Simmons. 165. She's in that room over there. How much do you weigh, sir? 165 pounds. The Army is proud to have these men and women serve within their ranks. And the tireless efforts of these nurses do not go unrewarded. In return, the Army provides every opportunity possible for each nurse to grow and develop professionally. The education process, which merely began for the newly commissioned officer at Fort Sam Houston, is a continuous one. On a recipe that we'll give you later in the lecture. Now, we have a problem with the iodine tablet, and that is, after exposure to heat, to moisture, and to light, it will decompose and change in its form partially to iodide, as you see with this second tablet. Now, this second one, the whiter color, is only about 50% of the strength of the metallic gray tablet. Now, with this, we will have to double our recipe, then, for the individual disinfection of the water canteen. Now, the next tablet, the rust color tablet... As Army nurses gain experience, they often select a specialty area in which they wish to work professionally. The Army not only provides an opportunity for nurses to work in their chosen specialty, but conducts courses in such specialties as operating room, anesthesia, maternal and child health, medical surgical nursing, and psychiatric nursing. There are also apprenticeship programs for those who are interested in Army health nursing. In addition to this, each year nurses are selected to attend civilian colleges and universities on a full-time basis to complete bachelor's, master's, and doctoral programs. These programs lead to advanced degrees in many clinical specialties. One example is the U.S. Army Baylor University program in health care administration given at the Medical Field Service School, Brooke Army Medical Center, Fort Sam Houston, Texas. 
After successfully completing academic requirements and a year of residency training, nurses selected to attend this course receive a master's degree in hospital administration from Baylor University in Waco, Texas. Almost one-third of all Army nurses are on duty in overseas medical installations. This hospital in Munich, Germany is one of the finest American military hospitals in Europe. A simulated mass casualty exercise in Nuremberg, Germany is typical of the field exercises which keep men and women of the Army medical team alert and ready. Handling a sudden influx of serious burn cases in an emergency situation demands the utmost in care and efficiency, not only from the doctors and the nurses, but from all members of the medical team. In every sense, the Army's medical team serves on a worldwide scale. Army Nurse Corps officers are to be found in this military dispensary in Heidelberg, Germany. There are similar installations in other countries throughout the world where American military personnel are stationed. Across the world in sunny Hawaii, other Army nurses serve at Tripler General Hospital, one of the finest military medical centers outside the continental United States. Army nurses fulfill a variety of assignments in Korea, Okinawa, Thailand and Japan. Though some of the hospitals in these areas may be smaller, they still have the latest medical equipment and provide the same high standards of nursing care found in Army hospitals stateside. The role played by the women of the U.S. Army Nurse Corps in helping to organize and train the nurses of Korea is unforgettable. It is due in large part to these American military nurses that the Army of the Republic of Korea has created its own highly effective Army Nurse Corps. Patient care and nursing procedures followed by the Korean Army Nurse Corps today are not unlike the methods of the U.S. Army Nurse Corps. Combat, the wounded. From jungle battlefields and villages they come. Mercy helicopters flying them to the portals of life. And the Army nurses are there, meeting the test in this hour of trial, adding a new chapter to the proud history of the Corps. When life and death are only a heartbeat apart, the men and women of the Army surgical teams are at their magnificent best. Thanks to the mobility of today's military medical facilities, the U.S. Army surgical, field, and evacuation hospitals are only minutes away from forward battle areas. Those who wear the mask and gown are warriors too, fighting for the survival of every wounded soldier entrusted to their care. In the recovery stage, the helpless are comforted by the knowledge that they are in the hands of one of the finest medical teams on earth. At a small farming village in the coastal lowlands of South Vietnam, army nurses work with a medical civil assistance team to fight disease among the people of this war-torn land. The war waves of Vietnam seem as a magnet to the American Army nurses. As an expression of their deep compassion, military nurses spend many hours and days of their own free time helping the overcrowded war orphanages in South Vietnam. The joy of these small children at seeing an Army nurse is only one of the rewards. Whether in a combat zone or back home in America, 
Romance cannot be denied. Many of the Army's nurses meet and marry the man they have waited for while serving on the military medical team. The U.S. Army Nurse Corps makes every effort to station married nurses where they can be together with their husbands. Even if the husband is a member of some other branch of the U.S. Armed Forces, these concurrent duty assignments can often be arranged. The Corps of United States Army Nurses was founded in 1901. Throughout the years of its existence, the Army Nurse Corps has matured militarily and professionally. As the oldest women's corps in the U.S. military service, the uniforms worn by Army nurses are appropriate for the area to which they are assigned. Today's Army nurses are pace setters in the nursing world because of their untiring efforts to find better ways to serve the injured and infirm. New skills developed by the Army open broad horizons within the profession for these inquiring and dedicated men and women. In all of the many fields of nursing care, the members of the U.S. Army Nurse Corps excel. Their opportunities to serve in clinical specialties are unlimited. Like all professions, Nursing follows the triad of service, education, and research. At the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research, the Department of Nursing carries out studies to base clinical nursing practice upon known scientific principles. Today's research is tomorrow's practice. The mission of the Army's worldwide medical team is to conserve the nation's fighting strength. Through their proud profession, the Army nurses have always fulfilled that mission and more. In the performance of their duties, these men and women are the givers of hope, the symbol of life. Simply, they are the United States Army Nurse Corps.